what's going on everyone welcome back to another snow runner adventure with me a2l and we're going to be working on the next contract after going through many mods and trying to get trailers working and they weren't working and other trucks and i decided to go with this mod what is this mod you ask it is the ring rng tx 6x6 2 concept what makes the concept and I believe it's the rear and front steering, which you can do like this. Pretty cool, right? We have to deliver these two cargo containers. I got that trailer in the back. Two cargo containers to the nature reserve, and after that, I'm not sure where, but hopefully this will do, and hopefully the trailer doesn't tip over. This has an interesting feature. Let me show you. Maybe it'll work with this truck. Yeah, so it's got this thing. You can actually lower the panels. I don't know why you would, but you can. So, pretty interesting. Um, apparently this has a ramp. I did not know that. So, that'd be cool for if you wanted to you know, haul a car around or something. Didn't know that had that on there. There's a different one. There's actually a 8x8, but it only holds three um, slots. I thought it would have held four, but no, but it only holds three. So... With that being said, let's look at the, in here's the back, let's look at the interior. It's an armored vehicle, so you're not going to see much, but the mirrors do, whoop, that was weird. Okay, yeah, the mirrors do work. The dials work. I think it actually looks really cool at night. Let me go to night here. Yeah, it's all lit up on the inside, so that's pretty cool. There's the lights on and off. The dials do work, like I said. Really crazy military looking interior, uh, but you know me, I'm, I'm probably going to stay on the outside for the most part, so my route is set, we're going to go this way, I've never even taken this road in my life, so this will be interesting. Uh, I really hope this is a bridged area, I can't remember if it was or not, it's probably not, but we're going to run it anyways, get to here, and I'm not sure where we're delivering, like I said, hopefully it works out for us, and uh... There's the horn, very short, but cool, and uh, away we go. The uh, front and rear steering, something I'm not used to, at least in a shorter truck, so it, it steers pretty fast. I have a really mighty engine in it, however, um, it only has four gears, and there is no suspension raised mode, so you either get raised suspension or stock suspension, so I went with the raised. Uh, I think there's only like four different tire options. There was two off-road and two mud tires. I kept it with the off-road because I mean the off-road said that was had mud on it too. So looks like it comes with all-wheel and diff lock. Oh no, diff lock is not always on, but the all-wheel drive is. Interesting. Looks like it's struggling with that trailer. So this might be a good time. I've already used up six gallons of fuel, so that fuel thing might be a problem. Because I don't think I do have refuel points. Oh shit, we're good. The damn trailer, the trailer somehow somehow has 411 fuel in it, so I I guess we're not gonna have to worry about running out of fuel, which I didn't realize that was a thing with these trailers, but okay, uh, obviously not legit unless it's holding them in the tires. <laughs> oh god. The only problem with these trailers is they're wider than this truck is. It's the only problem I have with them. So they like to get caught on things. But I figure we try something a little different. I got the camera angle pro. Try to go here. I don't want to stay on this view because you really can't see much. I'm just trying to get around this, these weird camera angles. This, this tra these trailers seem to cause weird camera angles. Okay, I don't think there's definitely no bridge down here, but we're gonna go this way. Oh, I, I didn't go with a box trailer. Now I kind of wish I would have, but. Hopefully nothing happens. I don't have a crane, and I don't have another. I only have another vehicle on the other map, so if that happens, we'll just have to bring one over, I guess. Uh, 
hoping this is a relatively short video, but we'll see. Look at those antennas just going back and forth like mad crazy. It does come with a snorkel, and I'm not even sure where your exhaust pushes out. You could have changed it. I believe it's on the bottom somewhere. I'm not sure where. So it's got to it's gotta be an exhaust stuff. So is that right there? There's the exhaust right there, so. Yeah, snorkel up top, so that's good. For some reason I've been noticing that a lot of mods don't come with snorkels. I don't know why they just don't put them in. Especially with most of these maps having crazy amounts of water on them. Well, it looks like there used to be a bridge there, a little wood underneath there. never taken this way before in my life. It seems to be handling good. Picture time. Alright, now we're back. Damn, the tree just falls. That's good times. Yeah, we'll just take, take it with us. Hopefully it disappears. It doesn't cause any problems. turning problems, even with the rear turning capabilities. Oh, okay, that's a great angle, can't see where I'm going. I remember I had that trailer, I, I know I've crossed this section before, but I don't, I don't know. I think the, uh, you had to pick up an Antarctic over here, the Antarctica. Pick that up over here. Um, pretty sure that's my trailer I left there. It's going to be pushed down the river a bit. What's going to get interesting? Do we go that way or I think we go to the left? It's going to get real interesting here. Strong-ass current right there. There's that white trailer cause them to fit back there. Seems to be doing pretty good. Let's keep it going! Hopefully these light poles don't cause us any problems. I like how there's a hitch there, but it's a ghost hitch, even though it's... No, the hitch there, it's not really connected. Gotta get around that. Gotta get around that. Be able to pop straight through here. Oh boy, here we go again. These railroad crossings are really death to me. Or we'll just make it through, no problem. Okay. Oh. Picture time. <laughs> uh, I take multiple pictures when making thumbnails for the these videos. Alrighty. So hopefully nothing happens on our way through here. And away we go. Alrighty, guys and gals, I went ahead and mapped it. We are here in the nature reserve now. And we gotta get over there. The best way I can think of going the other way is really choppy, and there's a lot of sh whatever. There's a lot of shit in the way, so I'm gonna go this way and hope to God we can make it. Be a road over here somewhere. Probably over there. Yeah, whatever. We're gonna go up through here, I guess.
more like a deer path, not really a road, but we're gonna make it. Gonna make it after all. Is that Mary Tyler Moore? Already. That should be a gas tank, but it's not. My opinion. What's that even say there? I can't read Oh my god, I can't read it. I can't read it. No. Okay, I guess we're not gonna read it. It said bunch of something on it. I don't know. Sounds like there's slaughtering cows in there. Yep, rocky area. Thanks for the sign notage there. Speaking about rocky and rock slides, I don't know if you guys remember, but in the first intro to SnowRunner, so about over a year ago now, almost two years, um, they had showed rock slides happening and like them bat the rocks bashing into the trucks. I've yet to see that play out in the actual in-game gameplay. I mean, rock slides happen, but nothing like crazy. Like a few pebbles roll down the aisle here or the roadway, but like I mean, the, the video showed like massive rocks coming off cliffs and stuff, and I just haven't seen anything remotely like that. And then just bashing into a truck and knocking it off the trail. Yeah, definitely haven't seen that. I'm wondering when that's going to come into play. That good old, uh... Good old trailer's stuck, ain't it? What the hell are we stuck on? Well... stuck on there. I'm not sure if it was the trailer or the wheels themselves. But we're so <laughs> I'm like, why are we moving now? We're so winched. Okay. Nice big tree here. Once again, another road that I don't think I've actually taken much. If I have, it wasn't a scout vehicle. Definitely wasn't in something like this. Well, I might actually came up this road on my, uh, not my last video, but the video before that. Gain some speed here. Okay. Like I said, the rear and front axles turning. Not very really used to that. You barely have to hit the joystick and they turn like crazy. Cool looking truck though, I like it. It's slow. Let's get the job done, it's all that matters. So far anyways. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but that, that turn side just went flipping out of the space. Should be able to cut this corner here. Shouldn't cause us too much of a problem. Down here is going to be an issue. Slow and steady wins the race. The tortoise always says. Brakes, right the brakes. Splash down the water here. We got to go across this way. Definitely fun in here. I hate this area with a compassion. I'd love to get a uh, picture here, but I don't like. I stop in the mud all the time, then we get stuck. So, let's see what happens. Just maybe we take a picture on the fly here. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? All right, there we go. Very, uh, very small area coming up here. There goes nothing. Where we gotta stay on the right, but not clip this tree or the rocks. We're gonna get stuck killing it right now. Well, so far so good. Mow these trees down. We 
gonna cut up here without running into something. Oh, that trailer, that trailer. Don't do it, trailer. Come on, trailer. Don't you get us stuck. Oh, come on, come on. Alright. I think that's the worst of their, where, where we're traveling. Now, there are some other areas, but I think that's the worst. Then again, I could be wrong. There's a very muddy section coming up here with uh, the, where the logging area is at. We're going to tilt the trailer and truck and go this way. And we're rolling. Let's go. Right, so I'm going to go this way. Oh, God. That scared me quite a bit. There's some mud for us. There's some definite mud. We're gonna have to transition, put the dip lock back on. And we're gonna have to winch or something. Come on, baby. Winch or something else, I guess. Put her back in all wheel drive here. Now he's just sank in the mud. I I haven't done anything over here since I have logs, so I forgot about how muddy it is back here. I guess we're going to go this way. Hope there's no stumps in the ground. Knock that tree over. Do it. Knock it over. Alrighty. Now we get stuck again here. Or not. Just mu muscle your way through it. Muscle your way through it. Yeah, boy, we got out of that crap hole. Are the lights even on? They're on now. They weren't on before. Okay. Got some spotlights lights on the top. Don't have any beacons. Oh, boy. This is, uh... A little watery over here. this area. That will be on mostly road the whole way. That was weird. It's like we went into a little hole, a little bottle or something. This truck's beasting. It's beasting. That's not my, that's my favorite word, snow runner, beast. Okay, let's go. We got to go down and around, and we should be there. The, the other way I could have went was there, are, there shows a bridge on the map, but I don't think it's a bridge for something like this. I mean, I think you can get it. I think you can get across the bridge if you were in a scout vehicle, but something like this, I don't think you can actually get across it. Strong turn here, make sure you go across the rock area. Or get stuck in the rock area. Let's see what this looks like in the inside. Where's our windshield wipers, am I right? Look deep down, look at that. <laughs> look in the back. Oh, the mirrors do work. Oh, yeah, okay, there's a mirror. I'll say, I'll say, the mirrors work, but I don't see the trailer. There it is back there. I see it. All right. We're almost there. It's over there somewhere. We gotta, we gotta travel down this road to get there. I think I can go that way. Or can I? There's a road right here. Next, but I don't see an actual clear path into there. So we're just gonna keep going down this road here. I don't know, it looks like it looks like we can get through there. Looks like there's a ton of trees. But then when you back out. Now what the hell? We'll just keep going straight. Don't need to make it any harder on us than it already is. We're getting stuck on a slide here. Jesus, that's the first damage I've taken this whole time. Look at that trailer dips down like crazy. Look at that 
big uh, big drop off. Don't want to go down there. Alrighty, we're almost there. I don't know if we're actually gonna build anything. Probably just dropping these off. Big uh, oil tanker dropped off there. Come on, we're almost there. Don't need to get stuck. Tell him, buddy, the scrap is just by looking at my truck. Good lord. Come on. Gotta get over this switch. Switch to that little twig. Let's go. I think it's the trailer, to be all honesty. We actually gotta get onto this path. Get on the path. Get on the path. There we go. Yep, I think it was a trailer for the most part. Once our once our six wheels up front got some grip, it took off. Some with all these tractors on the map. I wish I could pull those out and get rid of them. Conveniently in the way. That's a task right there. Huh. Ah, uh, must be a hidden task. Then you know it was there. I'm gonna have to run myself come back after this mission. Wonder what that is. Almost there. Woo! Look at that. We just went full engulfed in that. Chugga, 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 chugga! We're almost there. Almost there. Turn up the hill. Boom. One and two. Nothing gets done. Okay, the champion. Nicely done. Great start, but there's still much to do. The next one's called Let There Be Water, which has to be two cement and four rolls. It has to be delivered literally right down the road. And the only place to pick up can only <laughs> the only place to pick up meta rolls are on the other map. Good times, dude. What the fuck? Ah, uh, well. With that being said, guys and gals, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.